Hey everyone, uh, give me one second here. I wanna get this poured up. Uh, we are gonna talk about brewing cocoa today. And what it is and what it isn't. And first and foremost, it's not your mother's hot chocolate or your grandmother's hot chocolate. This here, this is uh, brewing cocoa. And what it is, is whole cocoa beans. I particularly roast this a bit darker. Traditional cocoa beans, you know, you, we've talked about that a lot, 250, 260. A lot of the brewing cocos I take 100 degrees hotter, almost like coffee. They'd make terrible chocolate, but they give a lot of character to the brewing cocoa. A lot of people think they could brew with nibs or they could brew with just the husk. And if you look at these, this is brewing right now. This is the pure nib, it's not very appealing. And it's pretty bland. This here, the husk, it's got a bit more color to it, but it's really astringent, totally unpleasant. Uh, through a lot of experimentation, it turns out nature had it right. And if you brew the whole ground up cocoa bean um, to this consistency here, uh, sort of a coarse kosher salt, you start getting a lot more color through and a lot more flavor, but not too much. And I'm gonna keep popping this up as we do it so you can see how it's brewed. I've got this about two tablespoons for a cup of water. And as it drains through, we're gonna make the brewing cocoa. Let's talk about grinding this. Um, currently, I sell it pre-ground. Most people don't have the grinders needed to grind this appropriately. These have been out for a couple years now, and it's pretty routine. I get a question, could we grind it finer for more flavor? And the answer is yes, but this husk has a lot more flavor than this, but it's a lot more bad flavor. So, you know, more is not always better. I've got a little burr grinder here, which if you've got one of these, and this is like one of the only ones I found, um, it's from Rock, it does a pretty good job. But the key is that it's manual. And here, let's watch, I wanna show you something. So, the first thing to note, is it doesn't feed really well. It's pretty slow, but it does a pretty good job. Uh, it gets laborious though. And certain beans will actually uh, bind up the burrs. And if you try pure nibs, it really does bind up the burrs. That said, it's not too bad. A lot of people in the same vein as coffee, when I suggest a blade grinder like this, think, well, it's kind of sacrilegious in coffee. You want a really even burr grind. So they get a high-end electric burr grinder and they try to put this through. What happens is it creates so much friction, the oils bind up into the burrs and the whole thing clogs up. The only reason this works is it's slow. There's no heat buildup and it can feed in just right. This on the other hand works really nice. Here, let me show you how it works. So beans go in. Uh, pardon the noise. And that's it. It's nice and consistent. And even where it's inconsistent, I've taste tested the two of these and I can't tell the difference. It does the job, it's not broken. I really recommend you don't fix it and try to make it better. If you do, I mean, that's your choice. Have fun with that. I recommend a couple tablespoons per cup. It sounds like a lot. There's not a lot of extractables in brewing cocoa, unlike coffee. Pour it in, give it a stir, it goes through. Give it four to five minutes. Again, more is not better. Six, eight minutes, starts getting funky astringent flavors. Same thing if you don't use enough. That's actually pretty well brewed right now. I can just tell by the color, I've done this enough, and it's been sitting here for five minutes off and on. June, you could also brew this in a French press. And there's a nice coffee maker out there that has a large enough capacity and the filter is good, which is the Brazen Plus, um, either the traditional or the connected Brazen. They both take the brewing cocoa just fine. You know, a final note, I've heard a lot of people want to mix this with coffee when they brew. I'm a purist. I like my chocolate when I'm drinking my chocolate. I love my coffee when I'm drinking my coffee. To me, when you combine them, you don't get a mocha. You, you sort of get the lesser of both of them. You get a muddy coffee or a muddy chocolate. Not my favorite. Feel free if you want to experiment with that. All right, that's it for the day. 
you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know what else you want to see. Uh, let me know if you, if I didn't answer something for you. Thanks for watching and go make some brewing cocoa.